What's up? I'm Troy Taylor, and it's time for you to meet the producer. 14 years old, in church, at the end of the service, I went over to the piano, and for some reason I had this notion that the playing the piano was easy. So I went over to the piano, I'll never forget it. I started trying to make something sound good, and it didn't sound good. From that point on, it became a challenge to me. When you, when you dream as a producer and working with people, you don't really, you have people like, oh, I would love to work with this person or that person but you don't actually realize it, it can happen. For me, it happened. There was a group called Today, and that was Teddy Riley's group. Um, it was one weekend with Boys to Men, and the next week weekend with Today, Johnny Gill, 2002, Mary J. Blige. I actually won a Grammy vocally producing Aretha. I mean, you, you're talking about Aretha Franklin, the queen of soul, and then I work with Whitney Houston, who Aretha tells Whitney, about how it was to work with me as a producer. Moments like that, you can't, you can't buy. Every producer wants to have um, their own artist. Trey Songs, I uh, met him when he was 15. He had something there special, and I just had to see more uh, about what it was. Trey did it, and he mastered it, and he got it down. If I said do it, he did it. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. BMI, Urban yeah. Music Award, red carpet, flashing cameras, lights, you know, interviews, all kind of things. I'm about to do all this stuff, stuff that we, you know, as producers, writers, we don't get a chance to do, you know, coming from behind the scenes, coming into the forefront. It's a great feeling to be acknowledged, to be recognized as, you know, producer of the year. I'm at the awards. I'm about to go into the awards, actually. And all of a sudden, this, like, this black SUV comes up, pulls out, very dramatic, like, and Stevie J gets out of the car, running over to me to get my number. And I, Stevie and I go, we, we go back. I respect Troy because he's a real music guy. He, he knows music. He's not just doinking around. He's not just, you know, um, beat tapper and all that. He writes songs. He produces records. And he's great at what he does. I'm on the red carpet. And I walk past, as I'm doing interviews, I walk past Hit Boy. Hit Boy and I have been talking a lot. He was actually supposed to do a song on Chapter 5 for Trey Songs. So it was good to finally meet him in person. And I run into T-Pain. So I hadn't seen him in a long time. As a matter of fact, the last time I saw him was just before Buy You a Drink came out. And see, that's the great thing about this BMI Awards. It allows us all producers and writers to come back together and be under one roof. So now I'm here about to get my award. It's something about when they announce the award and you see a name on the screen and, and you, you know, I got an award for uh, Can't Be Friends with Trey Songs uh, for, you know, co-writing. Can't be friends, Trey Songs, guys. To hear your name being called, to go up in front of all your peers, unexplained. And then all of a sudden, uh, the announcer starts to talk about, you know, this person, and he starts, you know, just reading the credits and, and naming stuff, and I'm like thinking, you know, wait a minute, who is this person? And then they get all the way down to Tyree's sweet lady, I'm like, yo! Ladies and gentlemen, our next top producer, Troy Taylor. But, but, but the thing is, is that it was for producer of the year, BMI producer of the year. You know the song, you know the lyrics, you know the music, you know the arrangements, you know everything that you hear on the radio. And now is your chance to meet the producer, Troy Taylor.